So, have you seen this controversy about the Girl Scout showing support for new Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett? This is what the organization posted online this week on Twitter and Facebook, saying, quote, Congratulations, Amy Coney Barrett, on becoming the fifth woman appointed to the Supreme Court since its inception in 1789. Well, if you know anything about Twitter and politics, you know cancel culture vultured this post, and the Girl Scouts eventually deleted it. So what do you think? Should they keep it up or, or, or take it, put it back up or keep it down? Vote now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. Maybe the better question would be, is this post actually political or is it just in support of women? The Girl Scouts pride themselves on being a nonpartisan group and they said this was not intended to be partisan and they have since removed it in a statement that they also put on Twitter. Well, both sides dropping some very heated arguments on the comments. This one here from one woman getting a lot of attention. The Girl Scouts just tweeted out support for Amy Coney Barrett, confirming they believe girls really don't matter to them. Disgusting. And then in a comment below it, celebrating a woman's achievement isn't political. Never succumb to the mob. And this woman is a Girl Scout. She says she earned her gold award. Said just log off and don't engage with the insane. Okay, so here's the thing, of course, Coney Barrett is expected to take a conservative stance on several key political issues, including Roe versus Wade, which is why many liberal Americans are upset about her appointment. But the question we're asking is about the post. Is what they said actually partisan? Or are politics fueling cancel culture? What do you think about this whole thing? John on Facebook says it's stupid. What happened to women supporting other women? All right, uh, moving on to Tony says, put it back, it's called Freedom of speech. Yeah, Business is really under that cancel culture fire. Stay out of politics. This isn't why they are about to keep it down, Walker said on Facebook. So, yeah, a lot of people weighing in. I've also seen a lot of people saying that they're never going to eat Girl Scout cookies again. Uh, don't believe that in the slightest. But anyway, there's a lot of comments out there right now. Right now, you can vote 12news.com slash bullhorn. 57% of you at this early hour in the morning saying that they should bring the post back, that it wasn't political and they should be able to say what they want to say. But keep letting us know how you feel. Again, 12news.com slash bullhorn is the place to have your voice heard this morning.